Hey, DOT community, this is Zalan with my worst art of my ever video. <laughs> so, we have both my art of my, my Artemis. And I have to show off the skills. I do have, I did do my uh, fusion prepping just recently, so I do know what I'm going to be doing. That video will be coming very soon. But this one is all about showing off my Artem Artemi and my uh, Numeku. And also we're going to test the Divine Gem Altar today. Uh, I did that on my test account. I'm going to run the video here very shortly for you all to just see what happened. And also we have the news. So this will be a short video, but still there's a lot of stuff to talk about. So here, let's take a look at my two Artemi. I got Earth and Armor. Which I think was the worst possible situation. And that Artemis is going to be fused. The other Artemis that I got was... Fire and Armor. That's the one I'm going to keep. But <clears throat> you'll see in my fusion video what I decide to do. This Artemis will most likely just be sitting bench, unfortunately. Just because I still am not happy with that armor skill. So, I think my Basathi is a bit nicer, but you will see. Alright, and also I do have my new Meiku that I received in Top 50 Rewards. Congratulations to NTG Legends for grinding it out up until the very last minute. I was up until <laughs> I completed the event last night. Yes, I did go all the way. I did, I did uh, reach 19k souls, but it was within 20 minutes of finishing the event, so... Here's my new Meiku. This one got Titan Armor instead, so I'm happy that my first Meiku, of course, did get the Titan Health. This level 5 Meiku will be used today in the Fusion event. So, besides from all that, let's jump out real quick, and we're going to show what happened when I tested the Divine Altar. There we go. There we go. Sorry, everybody. I got a two star. And notice it's still got the five out of five. I got two two stars. So, right there, tells you that we definitely have exactly the same rewards that we had before, so it hasn't changed yet, so please stay tuned, watch this channel, I will let you know as soon as possible that when the Divine Gem Altar does actually change, and we actually do have uh, new and hopefully better rewards. Also here, I want to bring this out, this was released today, we're going to get into the quick news section here right now. So, this was released on Twitter today, which I was completely uh, uh, kind of uh, floored. I did not know this myself. So, I'm guessing this looks like Poseidon. Uh, this is, uh, but, so we may be seeing another Greek god released this week. Um, uh, I, because the only reason I say that is because to the next note of what's happening in the news is in the, oh, it's going to have to reload. <clears throat> is going to be what was also released in-game today, which comes up right before the actual fusion event marquee, and that is here the Throne War is coming back in officially one week. So I would think that that Twitter post with Poseidon is referring to this week compared to next week, being the fact that they're giving notification for this. Now, I do want to let everyone know this means that it, the, between the two Legends Leagues, Right now, currently, whatever alliances are in there, um, it will be a tough fight to stay out of demotion zone. Uh, that We saw this last time, and also uh, in Masters Leagues currently, uh, they will also be a very tough to make sure that people are getting promoted to Legend League for next season. Um, reason being is, as we see here, it says available in Legend League only. So that is going to be the one downside 
uh, that some of the community members were hoping that it would be released to, you know, maybe Masters League. But it may still be because they want to drive more players to come up to Legends and participate. So now anchoring will be available 24 hours before the Throne War starts. So that will be activated again soon. I know a lot of players that's had anchoring uh, before still most of them tried not to uh, deplete their land. So they still have them. So I hope this time around when they shut anchoring off, it's possible that they may be able to actually get rid of all the anchors in the game uh, so that we still don't see cap trashing because turning and anchoring off really doesn't actually get rid of that problem. Uh, so, yes, exciting stuff. Uh, I am looking very much forward to what's going to be happening this week. We also uh, were told last week on the dev live stream that we were supposed to see a um, uh, event this week for like three times drops for uh, rewards. And that it's because we're going to get uh, a, a whole bunch of 20 plus relics are going to be added to the battle drops. So hopefully that will drop here within the next day or so. Being that the current event right now, the Titans Unleashed Rangers, is running for another day and nine hours. So you are getting 50% more Titan XP. And of course, make sure you're fusing class to class because you'll also get more XP on top of that. Because you always get bonus XP when you fuse class to class. That is just a normal thing. So that is something that you want to make sure you take advantage of. Right now, of course, rangers are in the t in the temple right now. So if you do have some epic tokens and you need some really good ranger food, I'm not going to say that you're going to get four stars, but if you'd like to get some, you know, level 25, level 30, two and three star rangers for food, that is definitely something that you can get in there. With the occasional, with the occasional, uh, Four star does do, does drop. I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen. So exciting, good stuff coming, and I'm pumped for Throne Wars next week. I definitely am gonna get myself up into one of the other uh, more competitive NTG alliances, and we'll see what happens with this possible Poseidon event maybe this week. All right, DOT community, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like; it always helps. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And look forward to my Fusion video dropping very soon. Have a good one.